everyone, my name is Georgia and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join our family. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching this video. I am super pumped because today we are actually going to be starting a little bit of a mini series. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to get these videos up. The aim is to get them up ASAP. But as most of you would know if you watch my other vlogs, you'll know this is a very busy time for me. The next few weeks are going to be hectic. They're crazy. There's lots going on, um, both like uni related and not uni related, but it's just going to be super duper crazy. And I thought I would create some sort of series out of it. So this is the first of my little study series, which I'm going to be starting. I get questions and DMs and Snapchats all the time from you guys asking about like, you know, uni tips, school tips, studying tips, um, how to balance like life in exam time and all questions relating to that and I thought that it would be a good idea to make a few more videos on those topics for you guys. I know a lot of you are currently in uni, you're probably going through the exact same thing I am right now or maybe you're in school and you've got exams coming up, whatever the situation is, hopefully I can help you out with these videos. They're all going to have like a slightly different topic but they'll all be like vlog styled. So I hope you enjoy these um, videos because I'm super excited about it. If you have any um, topics that you want me to cover in these series, just leave them in the comments below because I'll obviously read them and be able to make them um, for like the future episodes. So let me know. Even if you want to ask questions or something, um, one day I can just sit down and do like a Q and A in one of them, which would be so much fun. So whatever you guys want me to do with this series, let me know and um, we can work something out. Pretty much in today's video, I am in my raw estate. I rocked up out of bed wearing my PJs. I'm just chilling with my fuzzy socks and I'm smashing out some study this morning. It's currently 9 a.m. and I've just sort of been trying to take it slightly easier this morning because I felt myself getting quite run down and a little bit sick. Um, and exam time is no time to be sick. I've been sick yesterday and today I just sort of wanted to try and get myself feeling good again. So we're working really hard, but at the same time taking it easy. That makes no sense. That's like the complete opposite. But anyway, so today's episode, as you can probably tell from the title, um, is going to be how I study for uni exams because that's my primary focus at the moment. I still have one quiz left to do, which is next week. So I still have a quiz that I've got to um, complete, but that's just, you know, I'm not focusing too much on that because I'm sure that that one is going to be fine. My main focus are my exams because they are quite big. But anyway, I'm going to be taking you guys through how I study for my exams today and letting you guys know the rundown, how like the next couple of weeks are going to work um, for me and just sort of how I divide my time and all the different tasks that I do to get to the exam stage and to be walking in that exam room feeling confident and content with, you know, my knowledge and how I'm, I think I'm going to go. So that's uh, today's video. There'll be a few tips chucked in, um, just a few little things that I've picked up that work really well for me. So hopefully you can try them out maybe, or just see if they work for you. Um, Everyone's study styles are different, but I'm just going to be sharing with you guys what I do anyway. I'm also going to do another video in a couple of days, um, which will talk a bit more about how to balance life and how I balance life and study because sometimes we can get really overwhelmed and it just becomes such a unfun time. Like I know study period isn't a fun time, but I just want to be able to show you that there are ways to make it doable and maintainable. Anyway, I'm going to get cracking into sharing with you what the study plan is for today. Um, and then we're going to go and make ourselves a high nutritious meal. And I'll show you guys what I do for that. Okay, so first things first, this is my study space. So I have my own study. I'm very lucky that I have like my own space just for uni work. It's very messy at the moment, but pretty much what I'm doing is I'm making my last mind map. And this is the first thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. I'm actually just gonna bring you guys back here because the lighting's really good. 
but most of you would know I make mind maps um, for my exams and just for my classes. So every week I'll do like a um, summary of what happened that week so that come exam time, my brain is not all over the place. It just sort of organizes everything for me. So this is for one of my classes, which is like basic psychology, like just an introduction. This is what my mind maps look like. So I go quite detailed. Some of them are quite full on. Like, see, this one is all about the brain. This is a good one to show you actually. So I've actually like grouped the different parts of the brain in like boxes to organize all of the content that we learn. So it's a really quick summary. It organizes like all the different parts of those, um, those areas of the brain. And I've just put like diagrams in there to help me. And I've done this for every single week. So we've got a lot, a lot in here. And they're like fully look at this one this one's fully decked out can i just find this organizes my thoughts so well i'm just completing the last one so this is what i've got so far and it's all about like psychological disorders and a quick little summary these aren't like my study notes these are just to get my head around what i need to know where everything belongs how it all relates and that sort of thing so i've got arrows going everywhere but we're gonna finish that. I've got like one or two more concepts to pop in there, um, but I'm starving. I'm gonna go and make an omelet, which I'm gonna show you guys. It's a really good breakfast to have when you're studying because it's good for your brain function. I'm gonna try and make this series as concise as possible, but it's also gonna be jam packed with information. So I do apologize in advance, but I wanna share as much as I possibly can to help you guys out. As I said just before, um, I've like been a little bit sick, so, in the morning, I have like a huge glass. Of, it's like a protein shaker cup, but I pop in this some fresh lemon, ginger, and apple cider vinegar with hot water and then some cold water. And I drink that first thing in the morning to kickstart my digestion and also to help out with like any cold or anything that's going on with me. So I've got my eggs, free range of course, and then I've got some mushrooms. I'm gonna put in some avocado like after I've cooked it. Then I've got some coriander from a HelloFresh meal and then some spinach. And that's gonna taste good. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna try and go through the main chunk of this video, which is gonna be how I break up like all the little tasks and all the little um, jobs, I guess, that I need to get done to make me ready for an exam. So um, I thought that I'd quickly take you through that now and what I'm doing. And then obviously in the other videos, they'll go like more in depth into different things or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you guys now. I've just exercised, which is so, so important during study period or whatever you want to call it because it improves your brain function and helps you retain information. It's just good for your overall health. Like it's a good thing to keep up even while you're studying. But pretty much I have two big exams that both my psychology exams and I have these little stick it notes on my desk board and this one just tells me to get up and move um, and change my study location up because sometimes I just get bored of looking at this situation but then on these two stick it notes I have my two exams so I've got like the course code up here and then underneath them are all the tasks I need to get done in order to help me feel prepared for this exam so I'll go through this one which was um the class that I showed you the mind map of earlier. So pretty much I've got weekly mind maps to go over, which are like the summaries of each week. And then I've got flashcards of all the important concepts that I need to remember for the exam and be able to like use. I have the week 12 practice exam, which we did in our like tutorials, um, which had like some good questions on it. And um, our lecturer was hinting at that, yeah, we should know those so I'm gonna make those into flashcards I've got three practice quizzes to do um, as well as that which I can then make into flashcards and then I'm gonna look for past exams that I can do and then obviously just practice and going through everything again and again and then 
same sort of thing for the other one. So I just write up everything that I need to get done. So really quickly, I'm going to go through what each of those things look like. Obviously, like the online quizzes and stuff, that's just resources that my uni and my like subjects have given to all the students in order to help them prepare for the exam. So I understand that, you know, schools might not do that or different unis might not do that but that's how it is for me so I'm going to use those so as I showed you before I've got my folder for one of my psych subjects which actually has all of my mind maps in it and so I go over them and that's a really good way to sort of visualize all the information and make it a little bit more interesting rather than just black and white you know, just reading text on a page. I don't really absorb it as much as I do when it's in like some more attention grabbing form. So these are really good just to get your head around what the, the topic is about, what you need to know, what the overall, you know, themes are. And then I have flashcards. I've made some um, for that same subject and this is them. They are kind of thick actually. But pretty much what I'll put on them is like a general concept or maybe there's a theory that I need to learn or something like that. Um, and I'll pop that on the top and then I like write um, in colours. I write all of like the notes that I want to remember. And I just go over these over and over again. I don't think you can go over them too many times. So I like to sort of create these first so that I can get them going. And normally what I'll do is I'll say go over two weeks of the mind maps. And then after that I'll go through all of my flashcards. And then I'll do some more work on one of the quizzes, remembering the quizzes. I'll print those quizzes out and I'll do them a couple of times, normally about three times before the exam, just so that that sort of stuff's in my head. And then I'll do my flashcards again. So you can just sort of keep practicing them, keep getting them in your head and repetition is the best. So the more you do it, the more it sticks in your brain and the more you'll just remember what's on these cards. So it's good to get these started early, but that's generally what I will be doing to prepare myself for these exams. So the flashcards that I make, I go over them um, as many times as possible. Like I just keep doing it again and again, even before the exam, I'll just keep clicking through them just so that it gets in my head and like gets engraved in my brain. And I'll even just go over my lecture notes. Like I have all the weeks on the side from one to 12 and I'll just go through them, read them. I've got like even screenshots of like key concepts that were on the lecture slides. And I've got like my full notes in here, which go into detail about everything. So I also will read them a few times and just get them in my head as well because that obviously goes into depth a lot more than all the other things do. I'll go over my notes, I'll keep going over my flashcards as many times as possible, I'll turn all of the exams and like quizzes that I do, I'll turn them into flashcards so I get those in my head but then I'll print out some blank quizzes and blank exams like past exams and stuff and I'll do them three times normally um, before the actual exam so that I get used to you know having to pick the the questions and stuff and I know how to answer the questions and that sort of thing and then just go over the mind maps and that's pretty much what I do that is for like the specific subject that I'm doing now and sometimes like little things will change depending on what the subject is um, and what like the content is about and like how I'm going to learn that content. So it does change a little bit, but that's like a general overview that I thought would be a good starting point to hopefully give you guys maybe a starting point or some tips or just an idea of where to head with your uni exams or your school exams, whatever it is that you're studying for. Hopefully you can take something away from this, but a little bit each day, a little bit of like each subject or like each exam um, is normally how I do it. So I'm sort of getting into a routine and also make sure that I take breaks. I wanted to add that in there because I didn't used to take breaks and it was so, so bad. I did not do as well on exams when I would just like sit at my desk and study all day. Um, compared to the ones where I'd actually like, you know, take a break, go for a walk, take a break, go get the groceries, that sort of thing. <clears throat> so that is all from me for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know if there's any other videos in this series that you'd like to see or any other areas of studying and um, 
yeah, this like general concept that you'd like to see. Don't worry if you guys aren't interested in this sort of thing. That's fine. Um, I will have like normal videos up, but I just thought it was quite a popular question for me. So I thought that I would make it into a little series and share some of this with you all. And I will see you guys all in a video very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>